My name is Reshmi Srinath. I'm an endocrinologist here at Mount Sinai on the Upper East Side. I'm also director of, of our medical weight management program. Um, and here to address your concerns about COVID and diabetes. This is a very challenging time for all of us. Um, I would say that from this literature, from what we've learned in the last few months, obviously it's been a short period of time, but having chronic conditions such as diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, we now understand not just a risk factor for developing coronavirus, but more if you were to get sick, it's a risk factor for having greater risk of complications. So getting or being more sick than other people who might be healthier uh, in general. So again, diabetes itself is not a risk factor for getting sick, but having the condition can put you at greater risk for complications uh, when you do get sick. So I've been getting a lot of questions. A lot of patients have been messaging me, calling me. Um, the most important thing right now is taking care of yourself. So making sure you are eating the best you can. It's tough because I know a lot of us are at home. We're trying to do the best eating, cooking as much as we can. Um, the other part of it is, is staying active. So, you know, trying to be, you know, in your home, making sure you're getting some active movements, walking if you can. All of that is very crucial for not just overall health and well-being, but also blood sugar control. Um, if you are on diabetes medications, particularly oral pills, it's important to take those every day and not miss any doses. Um, if you're on insulin, again, taking those as, as recommended by your doctor um, and, and not missing. And if you have any concerns about either your blood sugars or medications, reaching out to your provider. So that's a question I've gotten a lot of. Um, what we know is, you know, a lot of us obviously don't want to go outside, want to minimize as many trips as we can to the pharmacy. So one suggestion is reaching out to your provider and asking them if they can provide a 90-day supply of medications. That way you have at least some stock. Um, I don't think it's worth it going more than 90 days. Um, I think, you know, the hope is that that should be adequate. Um, and in the meantime, you know, checking your supplies, making sure you have, you know, in terms of diabetes supplies, test strips, lancets, a meter that are functioning, working properly, making sure your medications are not expired. Uh, these are all very important for your overall health and, and management of your diabetes. So I think the first step is, yes, if you are someone who is monitoring your blood sugars, we wanna make sure you're monitoring them closely, you know, depending on the regimen that's been recommended to you, whether it be once daily, three times daily or more, um, keeping an eye on them and keeping a close record of your blood sugars, um, particularly because we know people are eating differently at this time period where our activity level is different. If you are worried, the first step would be to call your primary doctor or send them a message immediately. Um, generally, when someone's blood sugar is high, we do recommend making sure you uh, drink lots of fluids, stay hydrated, um, move around a bit. And yes, if it's very, very elevated, meaning blood sugar is over 400, 500, that is a reason to call your doctor. Um, in terms of going to the emergency room, I think the first step would be trying to manage it on your own, uh, meaning with communication with your provider. Um, if blood sugars are not improving, if they're worried for a condition such as diabetic ketoacidosis, that would be a reason to go to the emergency room and be evaluated. But I think the first step would be to communicate with your provider and see what can be done to get your blood sugars down immediately. So I think, again, to, to recap, this is a challenging time for everyone. We are less active classically as New Yorkers, we're very much used to walking, getting on the subway, taking the bus, moving around, constantly getting those 10,000 steps. And I think this is a time where we're sort of stuck at home. We don't want to go out, we're afraid. And I think having diabetes in itself, just to reassure people, it is not in itself a risk factor for getting sick, but it is very important that you take care of yourself, um, that you eat well, you stay active as much as you can and take your medications and, and religiously and, and do your best. And if you are worried, you know, reach out to your provider who is managing your diabetes. Um, again, diabetes in itself is not a, a risk for getting COVID, but we know that having uncontrolled blood sugars can lead to greater complications. And we know that those who are ill, who are really ill, actually have greater prevalence of conditions such as diabetes. So it's very important to try to maintain good blood sugar control in this time period. Um, again, reaching out to your provider if, for adequate supplies, making sure if you are testing your blood sugar, you have adequate lancets, test strips, meter supplies that you need on a daily basis. Um, and then, yes, if you can, asking for a 90-day supply um, just to be safe. And as, as we all want to minimize you know, trips outside, minimize any risk of exposure, I think the more supply, the better. Um, and you know, yes, 
it's very important you have a good relationship with your provider and you're reaching out to them if you have any concerns and a lot of us are doing remote video visits. We're happy to speak with you at any time. Um, so even if you can't get into the office, it's, it's really important to reach out to us. We're happy to communicate with you. You're not bothering us. Uh, we really would like to help you.